let's now go to the next topic. Let's look at the junction boxes, the small little, most of the time it's black boxes, which are placed normally on the rear side of a solar panel. So one of the primary function of the junction box is to take the internal wiring from the photovoltaic module, because we, we understand by now that all the cells, they are wired together most of the times in completely in series. And then the junction box takes the, the bus bar. So the, the metal connects it, connectors that are inside of the module, it takes the bus bars and connects them to the, the main leads coming from your module. So the, the positive and the negative wire. The junction box normally also hold the bypass diodes, which we talked about before. And the junction box, of course, is also rated. So it's rated according to the sim to the same system as the um, the connectors are rated. So it's rated according to a an IP code, an ingress protection code. All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go out again. So I want to take you to the whiteboard and I want to show you where you can find the, the IP code level for your junction box. And I want to show you what the numbers mean so that if you find a specific value for your junction boxes or for your connectors, that you understand to which extent this junction box or the connectors that you're looking at are protected against environmental components. So here we have a, an example of a junction box. And when you zoom in here, you can see that this junction box uh, says it's got an IP code of 65. So the ingress protection code or the ingress protection code rating is 65. Now, the, the funny thing with the IP code is that it looks like it's got a number of 65, but it's actually a separate six and a separate five. And the first digit will tell you something completely different than what the second digit is telling you. So the first number will tell you what the protection is against solid particles, right? That is the first number. The first number normally runs from zero up to six, whereby six is the highest protection level and zero is the lowest protection. So you can see the overview here. So zero is no protection. One is a large body part. So you know, uh, if it's got a, an IP code of one there, you shouldn't be able to stick your finger or your hand in there all the way up to number five and six. So five is dust protected and number six is absolutely dust tight according to the IP rating system. And then the second number refers to the protection against liquids coming into the junction box. And then the same is true as for the solid particle protection. So zero is no protection and the higher the number is, the more protection you have. Right. Number six are protection against powerful water jet. Number seven is you can immerse it into a liquid up to one meter and number eight you can immerse in a liquid but even deeper than one meter of liquid um, so this uh, junction box has an ip rating of 65 which means that it is dust tight and it is safe um, safely protected against water jets so uh, if you are planning to go and swim with, with your panel or submerge it into your pool then this junction box would not be protected against that so let's go online and I want to show you where you can find the IP rating for your particular uh, photovoltaic module that you might be looking at. So for this example, let's go to REC, recgroup.com. I am not affiliated with REC. And let's go straight to their download section. It doesn't really matter which one. Uh, let's download this one, the Alpha A Pure series. And then we, here we are in the specification sheet. So we go straight to the second page and we look in the section on general data and here it says oh, on the junction box this is a three part three bypass diodes right because there are three individual junction boxes like we looked at before um, it's got three bypass diodes so each junction box has one bypass diode and it's rated according to ip68 which is higher than the one that we just looked at so this photovoltaic module has an IP rating for the junction box of 6.8, so it's dust tight, but you can also immerse it, immerse it into a liquid uh, beyond one meter, which is, if you're planning to do that, could be great. So that concludes this section on junction boxes.